Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use a DIC or digital to analog converter within the Falstead.com. Falstead.com is an online simulator in which you can simulate any sort of circuit of your own choice. You are not supposed to install any sort of software, just Come here on Google and write Falstead and then this window will open up. Okay, now we will start using our deck. So first we will take our ground because ground take is very necessary for uh, like uh, every circuit to work. Okay, maybe in some uh, modules it is uh, not necessary here in Falstead but still uh, if we require, we can use it out. Now we will go to our digital chips and analog and hybrid chips. So we will take our deck that is digital to analog converter. Now here we can see that we do not require any sort of ground here. Now what will happen? There are four inputs and one output and one VCC pin. If there are four bits at the input, then we have around multiple combinations. What sort of combinations they are? They are like a 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. And then 0, 0, 1, 0. And then 0, 0, 1, 1. Like this. Okay. 0, 0, 1, 1. Then 0, 1, 0, 0. And hopefully, uh, you can write all the combinations okay okay now first we will go for our okay to take inputs and outputs at logic input so we will create these are the inputs for our digital states okay then we will go for our output logic output then then connect it like that okay now now we will run our circuit here you can see that when our zero okay first let me okay sorry one thing we have connected wrong is the uh, output we need our voltmeter because our output is in the analog format so we will go for our voltage so I'll put some levels and voltmeter here. Okay, now we need to write one. Okay, sorry. Now it is zero 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 one. This is our first. What's called is the combination. Okay, so we are getting triple three point three three millivolt, or as we can say point three volt. Like this, okay. So then our one zero 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 one zero it is triple six point six six millivolt. Then we are supposed to zero zero one one, then it is one volt. The next one is zero one zero zero and it is equal to one point three three volt, okay. And when we are like zero one and zero one, okay. And that is 1.667. Then 0110. It's around 2 volt. Okay. Then what we need to do is 110 and 111. Okay. 0111. Okay. 0 triple 1. So it is 2.33 volt. Then we are supposed to write 1 triple 0. So it is 2.667. Then 1001 is 3 volt. 
1010 is 3.3 volt then uh, what we are supposed to do is 1010 is this and uh, now we need to write sorry it's a 1010 okay then what we are 1011 okay then it is 3.667 then we are supposed to write 1100 it is 4 volt then 1101 it is 4.3 1110 is 4.6 and 1111 is 5 volt now you can see that how we can convert the our digital inputs into the analog output like we are just changing the digital inputs and we are getting change in our analog uh, voltage on the output side so it is a very simple use in form of digital to analog converter so hopefully you got the concept don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel